Hello there and welcome back to some more Forza Mode Sport 4. Today we're continuing on Let's Play. This is episode 234. In today's episode we are taking a look at the Class E Asian Tour. For that we need an E Class Asian car and the car for today is the 1969 Nissan Fairlady Z432. Ooh. Why is it called the 432? Oh yes! <laughs> because it's a so what you're saying 32. is it's the Nissan Fairlady Z32? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it in highlighter? Because <laughs> highlighter, I, yeah, like, I can make it have no mouth and it needs to scream, or it has all the mouth and screams. My favorite thing about this car mine. is how <laughs> unbelievably draggy it is. Is it? Well, it's like, basically it, it. It's basically what happens when Whoa. a Japanese man looks at a Jaguar E-Type and goes, "I can build that." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, no, it's when it's when they're looking at both an E-Type and a Corvette at the same time. I need to lower this car, it doesn't look right not lowered. Fuck the tyres, it needs lowering. Yeah, just get rid of some front tyre width. No, just get rid of the sports tyres, we'll f try our hand at taming the beast. Look, it's, it's light <laughs> enough, it's not... Like, the sports tyres would be great to have, yes, but... <sighs> Admittedly, fine. with the power that you're running, not ultimately necessary. I disagree. Tires are more important than anything. <laughs> it's yeah. On, yeah, but here's the thing. It's a Datsun. At the end of the it day, is a it'll, likely, it'll likely break down before it makes the first corner. Good observation. <laughs> no, we're supposed to pretend that Japanese cars are ultra-reliable, remember? No, that's an yeah, yeah, on yeah, that. but Yeah, but boost. Boost. This is late 60s, early 70s Datsun. This is the Class E Asian Tour. This E-Class series is hosted in Asia and open to any E-Class car. Twin Ring Motegi West Circuit is first. Uh -huh. hey, look at that! Look at that! What's still that? Like, still sounds like that thunder. In, that little it's argument not. the Inferno and Boost had makes me realise how much I absolutely hate people arguing about Japanese. Cars. What's better than <laughs> what's better? The what's Ashton the better Forza one? FM3 or FM4? FM4 probably. I mean, I like the, know the Japanese I like how there are more point, points in three, but four is better. JFF, I don't know if you're colorblind, mate. I think that key was just such a like nothing color. No one could register what it was. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it is like. Uh... There's a Versa in this race. <gasps> And it fits, oh a gaggle of fits. Oh boy, a bunch it's of cars that are eight. actually more interesting than this. What, the Yaris is more interesting? This isn't a racetrack, this is just like an Aldi's car park. I should point out for the subjection of personal opinion, I don't hate the Nissan, or the Datsun 240Z, let's give it its proper name. What was Yeah. I'm just... It, in game, it's never a very interesting car, and the one they decide to go with for this game isn't very interesting because it doesn't have the wide offenders, which the European um, cars had. What's that on the rear bumper of the Yaris? Uh, it can... is extra light. No, the canard thing. Yeah, it had, yeah. Can... No, don't ask. We've been that over those before. Very good... <clears throat> that is a very good observation there, uh, Omar. You're the only real-wheel drive car in this race. I am. Which yeah, is inferior to front-wheel drive. Real-wheel drive is always inferior, however... I have to... Explain your point, please. How come you're winning? Well, front-wheel drive is lighter, and cheaper, and better. As someone who's just been driving around a front-wheel drive car, no thanks. I like it when both. I will say one thing about this car: it actually has pretty good weight balance. Really, a rear-wheel drive car. What, Having good 60s, weight balance that from the sixties, not intentionally. It has fifty-one percent, which is pretty good. What do you mean, not intentionally? Well, they didn't know about weight balance in nineteen sixty-nine they Japan. Did. They were trying to figure out how to make cars out of bamboo at this time. <laughs> you bought this or a Subaru 360, you had no choice. <laughs> I don't think people were cross-shopping. <laughs> Alright, actually no, tell a lie, there were yeah. other cars available. You could have this, or a Honda N360 
or a Subaru 360, and those were your choices. Those were not your choices, but okay. We're or the Daihatsu Companion it. Bellino, but you don't want a Daihatsu Companion Bellino. What do you mean? You've got a heater standard with it. <laughs> that is true. And Terry Wogan. <laughs> and like how we both have seen car years, and that's the only <laughs> reason we know it. Hell yeah. Emil, you're, you're being, you're being like, completely stupid. You've He's got about a Datsun 1300. Shit! What's that? <laughs> this isn't a 1999 <laughs> Nissan Primera BTCC car, so why should I care? Hey, that is a... got the C10 Skyline the Wait, what year is this? No, they don't. 1969. Okay, nice. No. I was gonna oh, say, no. maybe, maybe nice. you should also buy a Prince. But and that's why rear-wheel bit... drive sucks, by the way. Just what? Because you can did slide you just, and did, spin out. He you spun the out like in the fucking. Dance. How do you spin out going twenty I'm going miles to be an hour? Perfectly you frank. Drive the car like a jackass. That's what happens. I, I'll be perfectly he, frank. This car doesn't drive very nicely. But I wonder. Still, I wonder why it could be. Could it be the 1960s tires you decided to keep on just to make it look better with lower suspension? Listen, I am a car mod kid. Could it? I know all about could, Stance Nation. Could it be the fact it's on tyres that they're 50 years old? 50? Oh god, no, it's more like 60. Do you know what I hate about this car the most? What happened to fucking Paul Walker? No, for 10 years old. Do you know what I hate most about this car? The way the what? exhausts are stacked. No, that's Why does it have stacked exhausts? It's cold. Because it's better than a uh, parallel exhaust, I guess. Something tells me it's probably cheaper to shave that out of the sheet metal than trying to expand it, but sure. That's actually a good point, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm I not being it. funny, it was Japan's second attempt at the sports car. Uh, Daniel Philbot says, a Are you completely <laughs> forgetting about the Honda? S five hundred, six hundred. That's not a that's not a sports car. That's a shoebox. Are you forgetting about the Honda like? Sports eight hundred? That's a shoebox too. It's basically this that's and the Cosmo were like stuff. the first proper Japanese sports cars. And then you forget about the two thousand GT. Uh, was that earlier? That was nineteen sixty seven. Which, has, which, which, which ironically car. has been made into a convertible because Sean Conn Connery couldn't fit inside of it. I like Is to forget the 2000 GT because I don't really care about it. And I know yeah. that's always sacrilege to say, but genuinely I... that car does nothing for me. It's just... It's just... I prefer, I prefer the fucking Skyline after that one. Or the Canary. Yeah. The I mean, I prefer the Cosmo because I'm weird. But... I mean, the Cosmo's cool. The Cosmo's a... rotary. <laughs> and we all know rotary, rotary engines should have been the future. I don't disagree. They could have been, actually, in the 70s, realistically. I mean, well, a fuel crisis didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, because the funny thing is, if they put enough research into them as they put into piston engines, they could have probably got them to work. Why? Well, yes, and... Because they kind of run like two strokes, and there's kind of a reason that we don't use two strokes. What um, are you talking about? The fi the 500 pop is cool. I'll have you know, I live in 1985 East Germany, and two stroke is perfectly reasonable. Yeah, it's good in your Trabant. Having to mix fuel and oil just means you don't have to do oil. Oh no, I don't have a Trabant. I wish I had a Trabant. Instead, I drive around in the fabric car. No, it's not about the mixing fuel and oil, it's the the fact that uh, fuel can go straight into the engine and straight out without ever... Yeah, we need to be careful, Daniel's got a point, we don't insinuate a war with the Japanese, we don't want them to fly a plane into our houses. That's it. They find me? You're just saying... Actually, that that's an American war. problem, not a uh, European problem. Mm. Look, uh, that's, this that's year's the 80th anniversary of Pearl Harbor, okay? Oh, right, I thought you were going to say 9 11. <laughs> Although it's no. the 20th Whoa. anniversary of that, actually. Well, no. Fuck, oh, Thursday's going to be hard because then it'll have actually been 20 years since Dale Earnhardt died. Uh, oh my god, America has every bad thing happen to them on years that begin yeah. with a 1. What, what's happening in Correct. 2021? What's, what, what made you. American I mean, history Trump staring Bush events hit. gonna happen. 
Trump bullshit. <laughs> um, Trump's fine. Two-time impeachment champion, baby. Anyways. A Honda's going to announce the MSX2 Best. and it's going to kill the Mustang. <laughs> I mean, they've already announced the all-electric Mustang, haven't they? So. What, the Mach-E? The you mean that no, no, the they're apparently going to electrify the Mustang by 2030. Like the oh, Atkins yeah, that's thing. right, because American manufacturers don't understand that there's not enough fucking infrastructure to support all-electric... Uh, no one quite items. understands there's not enough no, infrastructure. They, it. They, just don't they, they, they don't care. They don't care. They, they, they have the they same issue because, uh, every like modern company has, where they seem to think everyone lives in a fucking city. No. Like, or free grand spare for a wall charger. I don't. Mm. Think, I don't think they quite live in that sort of vacuum. But oh, I don't know. Oh no. When eighty percent of the country, uh, like there's shitloads of people that just live on the coasts, and then it's pretty much. Everybody fights for the middle. Except for Texas. Texas is different. It's like I'm fairly certain the crossover boom is like stopped. It just so happens that like every car I use car lot currently is a crossover, so people are just pointing to inoffensive stuff and buying it. I don't think people actually want them, I think it's just people just don't they're pay they're any they're attention they're when they buy a car. They really don't. I'm just I'm gonna take a look at some uh, fucking Use car lots around me, see what's available. I'm not in the market right okay, now. Okay, right. American used car lot, Washington. Priuses? Um. Insight? Maybe? There's gotta be a Chevy Volt. The second gen ones. Yeah, the Chevy Volt, Bolts. Bolt, whatever. Bolt, 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 uh, I'm gonna go from cheapest to most expensive. The cheapest car on the lot right now is a 1993 Toyota Camry uh, for $1,300. I'll buy that for a dollar. Wow! What did I have for dinner? I had cameras. lots of French toast. The next most expensive car for $1,700, a 2000 Honda Accord with a four-cylinder. Oh, hell yeah. So the transmission is not gonna grenade itself. Five-speed also? Yeah. What well, is four speed? speed. Now the four speed wasn't the one you had to worry about. It was the five. The transmission issues were O one to let's say O seven, like so I can give myself peace of mind. <laughs> and they're mainly only on the V six models, so my car is not a V six, thankful. The engine's big enough that it should have been a V six, but it isn't. I'm gonna weld two cylinders to your Please engine. <laughs> All right, not car. like. At the correct For twenty five hundred dollars and uh, seventy thousand no, less miles than the other Toyota Camry, I can get the ninety five Toyota Camry. Go away. Is the ninety five Camry which one's that? It's the same as the ninety. Is it the jelly wide body one? It's kind of the jelly wide body one. Yeah, okay. Because I know so, they made the wide body, and then there was the non wide body for everyone mm. else. Yeah, I can tell you the most expensive car in this lot with one hundred and seventy six thousand miles is a two thousand ten Toyota Prius. Hell yeah. My car is very petrol. I could have bought a diesel, but I'm Oh hey, they're selling it they're selling an 05 Prius for a grand a less. Does it have the hybrid battery? Intact. It just is Toyota Prius four door hatchback. Was. I'm not looking into the hybrid battery. <laughs> Fuck that. You have to keep an eye on those because that's the after about two hundred thousand miles they fry in those cars. Because I think, actually, no, it's not so much mileage, it's time limited on Prius batteries. Because of the materials they have to make them for. To be environmentally friendly. Fuck the environment. Fuck the environment. Do you know what, actually, I watched before I started recording? Oh, no. You know those Extinction Rebellion people? No. There are apparently a group of people who want to end climate change now and all the rest of it, so they stood in front of a road and blocked a load of cars, and some random guy on the street just came up, stole their sign, threw it over this, like, railing, and then some bitch tried to film him, so he literally just pulled the phone out of her hands and threw it across the traffic. Nice. And she started mm. having a fucking Hispan uh, Hispanic... She just started having a hysteria attack, because she's probably never been told no in her life. 
problem with children these days? Problem, the problem with children these days is they exist. We're not stopping climate change. I'm also not causing climate change by driving to work. <laughs> now, a lot of people don't understand that, hey, by the way, you might be saving money by not having to fill up your uh, your car with uh, that much gas if you drive a hybrid or gas it's at all if you're driving much. an electric vehicle. <laughs> but the manufacturing process for the battery packs for hybrids no, and fully electric no. vehicles because if you actually do the maths, if you check the amount of pollution that you need to drive 50,000 miles on an electric car before it offsets. Who drives 50,000 miles? I don't know, I wonder how much mileage my dad has done so far. <laughs> Can't have done that much, it's still working. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, there's a lot of misconceptions about I believe one manufacturing. I will stuff. say though, there was a. I was watching the Car Throttle podcast, and apparently one of the guys has got an eye pace, and he did the workings out, and a 40 mile trip for him cost £2.87, which is not that cheap. Yeah, but the eye pace is kind of garbage. You know, but but the eye pace is basically a Model 3, but slightly less rich. No, different internals. And, and yet, everything. Jaguar still says by 2025 they're going to electric. Apparently, Jaguar doesn't have very good, or it's not very efficient. In, fair, in fairness to Jaguar, all their mm, cars well. are pretty old at this point, so they could probably afford to go out and say that. Because mm. mm. all their engines and cars are pretty old. I mean, I think they're still using Ford 2 litres, and the V6 is probably Ford derived. The V8 is Welsh and a million years old, so. I mean. Imagine they haven't really got much to lose, in fairness. It's not like if Honda turned around and said they're going all electric at that point, you'd be like, eeeh, but the Japanese are clever, so. Who the fuck cares about the I-Pace? The I-Pace is the fine. If the Japanese are clever, they wouldn't have made that. So the I-Pace is like second to third on the list of an electric car I'd actually buy. Which means I wouldn't actually buy one. <laughs> No, I mean, I wouldn't buy a Jaguar. Polestar 2. Just based on everything I've heard. Polestar 2. I haven't looked at that. I don't know how that. It's a Tesla so Model 3, but it's made by Swedish people who I trust infinitely more than Elon Musk. Yeah, but it's not quite that simple. I mean, I agree, probably build quality wise and reliability, they're probably a bit better. And it has an interior that doesn't make me want to vomit. I've got to tell you, I trust, I trust Yellow Snow more than I trust Elon Musk. Here's a question, would, who would you rather have you build an electric car, Mitsubishi or Elon Musk? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Yeah, I think Musk. I'd probably, at that point. <laughs> Can Mitsubishi build anything? Well, not no. here anymore, they're out. No, it's a little... Sorry, I just have to remind people each and every single time that Mitsubishi is no longer for sale in the UK, because I still keep saying it to myself to believe the fact that, thank fucking god. That's We've done true. really well in the last few days. years. We got rid of Chrysler. We got rid of. To be fair, Chrysler is pretty much dying anyway. We've almost got rid yeah. of mm. Nissan. They're not. We're doing They've got well. Super Saiyan. Don't forget Infinity. Europe as a yeah, we got rid of Infinity. I don't know if that was such wow. a good thing, but <laughs> except in BTTC. <laughs> Listen, that that was an accident. Well, I just won't die. I don't say next year they're gonna come out and go, hey, we bought a load of Volkswagen Passats. <laughs> hey, Booth. Mm -hmm. Fridge News. <gasps> yeah? Choice has late labeled a 4,000 Australian dollar retro style fridge from popular home appliance manufacturer Smeg as the worst fridge ever. Smeg. Smeg. Yeah, yeah Smeg is the oh. name of a fridge manufacturer. Should I see if there's an upgrade as Ultimate Guide for 2021? <laughs> Why did they pull out? They yes, Mitsubishi did pull out of the UK a couple of months ago. They basically said they're going to continue Nick. selling what they've got, but after that, it's that's it. Speaking my of which, I saw an Eclipse Cross for sale yesterday. My grandparents have a Smeg dishwasher. Saw an Eclipse Cross while I was at an undisclosed used car dealer for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I can't find a full list, but I have found one for camping fridges in Australia. Oh, Camp so yeah. Why would you have a fridge for camping in Australia? Because you want to. Uh, it's full of rats beer. and bad beer. Well, that's why you want a good fridge so it can keep camp all that stuff out. 
Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, I'm going to be taking a look at what comes after ED. Class D Asian tour. Join us for that. Until then, farewell. I'm the slut